Uh, this morning, my good friend, Bob Hasty is back from Hasty, Haiti. Hasty, Haiti. Give it up for Bob Hasty right now. I thought he said back from Hades. It's like, well, that's not good. <laughs> well, I guess it is good to be back. Anyways, it took two days. This is the longest. In 20 trips to Haiti, it took two days to get back. There was a car accident, a late driver, uh, standby flights, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I'm telling you, we had a, we had a wonderful time. I'll just give you a couple of highlights. Um, we always ask the hosting country, what do you need? We don't ever want to presume what another country needs. So we let them tell us. And so at the last minute, he called and he said, you know what? Our school is short 41 backpacks. So I called the owner of Freestyle Clothing, Elizabeth Kelly, called Bud Browning. I said, hey, can you guys get me some backpacks? With, within 24 hours, I had like 80 backpacks that we brought down there. Okay, that, that was just the start of it. And they were overwhelmed. Once again, you and I might not think, you know, that's a big deal. But to them, it's a big deal. They have a growing school where we go, 360 students growing every year. Um, so that was a big blessing for them. Then it didn't stop there. One of our team members, um, Byron Walker, where are you, Byron, right there? Uh, he's been a, uh, working with the uh, Roseville Police Department for a long time now. Well, they have a police department up where we go. There was 18 police officers. They asked him to train them. And so he trained them not just in some school, uh, some skills of law enforcement, but also integrity and character. And so we've got pictures. We prayed over all those guys. It was awesome. And then it didn't stop there. You all, we all um, built a house for an 80-some-year-old lady whose nickname is Pray Pray. Everybody say Pray Pray. <laughs> Pray Pray has been living under a coconut tree for a long time. And the guy down there just said, could you, just build, could you build her a small house? I said, absolutely. So we, she's the first one at their church in the morning at 6.30. She's the last one to leave, and she prays a lot. And so she was overwhelmed. We built her a nice concrete house with a steel roof that's not going anywhere in any hurricane. And she was absolutely overwhelmed with gratitude. She said, I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Uh, but I didn't know it would be a reality. And so there she is, and I'll be posting some pictures on that. And then, um, well, you know, I work with uh, some pastors up there. There's been a dozen of them. Um, I said, pray about who to bring. Did a leadership uh, seminar one day with them. Uh, there was, we've gone from 12 to 25 pastors up there in this region. So we're mentoring them, doing some great things there. Built another house. Um, and then uh, had a church that we were supposed to go and dedicate that was built. Uh, before COVID hit, and uh, so they blew out this church, and there was 300 people up in the mountains in nowhere, Haiti, Plaisance, Haiti, and uh, we dedicated it. I ordained the pastor there, and they were so overwhelmed with gratitude, they gave our team live chickens. <laughs> you know, I've been around the planet a long time. Can't say I've walked around with a rooster in my arm. So the rooster went from gift to dinner in about six hours. It was fresh. It was awesome. So that's just some of the stuff we did there. It was a great trip. Thank you for your prayers. A lot of you text me, tell me you're praying. Thanks for, for giving to missions, and we're just going to keep on doing what we do, Rock. Thank you. Well, let's stand and let's pray for Pastor Bob real quick. And Byron, you're here as well, right? Yep. Let's stand. Let's extend our hands towards Pastor Bob and Byron over there. Father, we just thank you for the work that you're doing in Haiti. Continue the work you started. We pray for more churches and more leaders, God. We pray for a rest over that land in the midst of hurricanes and, and earthquakes they've experienced. The Holy Spirit would come and heal their land. God, we ask for restoration of that property, restoration of that land as there's been pillagers and raiders that have come and decimated so many different areas. God, we pray for protection over all the leaders there. Give rest to my friend Bob, rest to Byron. We're excited for what you have in store for 2021. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen. Amen. Good prayer, church.